Hello Pisces. I hope you're doing wonderful. Happy weekend to you. It's Saturday. I hope you are enjoying your weekend Pisces. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good please you know please show us what's coming up for pisces in the life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for pisces in the life and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey Ooh, what's going on at your job it showed up as reversed three of um, pentacles which is your job situation there's some shenanigans going on there. There is a lot of drama going on and it's affecting you negatively. Yeah, you're very good at what you do. They need you, but it looks like you're not really appreciated for what you do and how much you do. Honestly, you have too much to offer to be in such chaotic place. Yeah, you're showing up as my favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles. Whether you're male or female, you're showing up as diligent, detailed worker, bringing profit in. Oh my goodness, yeah. Wherever it is you work, it's a toxic environment. A lot of disorganization, mismanagement, chaos, unfinished workload. This is not good, what I'm seeing here. Mm -mm. Yeah, you see, you it's like you feel you always have to be on guard, like you always gonna have to look over your shoulder. You work with a bunch of disorganized people, people who uh, are showing up as chaotic at your place of employment. Yeah, a lot of drama. Um, people are not doing their jobs. Yeah, it's really sad what I see here. Yeah, you're trying to make a wise decision. You're also protecting yourself emotionally because you're realizing this environment, the toxic environment you work in, is causing you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. And you see how you're crossing your arms in front of your heart chakra and you're holding two swords pointing up, which means that you feel you're going to have to make a very important decision whether to leave or to stay. And if you do stay... You need to decide how to handle this better because it's affecting you negatively, this toxic environment. So the job is not toxic. The environment is toxic. The toxic coworkers and bosses are showing up here. Wow. You are disappointed in your soulmate relationship. Yeah. Very disappointed. You let them go. Yeah, this is death, the end of soulmate relationship. You let them go. Mm -hmm. For now, let's see. Universe, please show us. Wow. What's coming up for Pisces? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? I'm sorry you're going through so much, Pisces. Yeah, you see, you do have some people there who are not doing their job. And don't care they care about getting getting the paycheck but that's it they they just come in to get their paycheck they really don't want to work uh, yeah you see you can see clearly that you're gonna well you tried to leave before and you didn't leave and now you feel you should have left yeah this is you feeling like uh, this is this environment is not going to change like it's gonna be the same chaos every day yeah yeah, it's affecting you negatively, emotionally. As far as your soulmate is concerned, the one that you're letting go of or have let go of, you still love that person. Yeah, you still love them. You still care for them. Yeah, you see? So you're very drained by what's going on at your job and you're very drained by your soulmate connection. This is you being very emotional, unable to kind of 
balance your emotions and energy and there's a lot of chaos going on you're not being um, paid enough for the amount of work you do yeah you're not getting paid enough no universe please show us mm. that's so sad universe please show us what's coming up for pisces Ooh, look at this hot mess over here so there's a lot of them that are like this not just one person there's a lot of them around you at your job wherever it is you work <clears throat> that are not working they are bickering gossiping fighting arguing not paying attention not finishing their workload and the list goes on you see they into gossip drama chaos they're not interested in working at all they're interested in getting paycheck that's it yeah that's so sad yeah, you see, this is you trying to be strong, trying to be positive, but no matter how positive you are, you cannot um, pretend that this is not happening because it is, and it's affecting you uh, like a domino effect. You see, it's affecting you negatively. Oh boy, your soulmate doesn't communicate effectively at all. They're very guarded emotionally. They don't like to show emotions. They don't like to listen they don't like to communicate. They don't like to extend the olive branch. They're spying on you, however. They're spying on you. Oh, you cut them out. You also told off some of the people here because they stepped on your toes too many times. You showing up as the most severe queen of all queens, queen of swords with five swords, which means that you told these people already what time it is. Yeah, you had enough of babysitting these people you don't want to babysit grown-ups and do their work no universe please show us i don't blame you unless of course they're willing to give you their paychecks which i'm sure they won't yeah yeah you have to do what's right for you pisces when people are taking advantage like this universe please show us what's coming up for pisces yeah you look death is showing up twice this is unbelievable death death which means the end you want to end that connection with your soulmate and you want to end that work environment that is so toxic and draining you yeah this is you trying to figure out what to do because you really don't want to leave that work environment just because of the drama uh you you're very good at what you do uh and you also still love your soulmate so you're trying to figure out how to uh, do this in both situations yeah you feel like you need to liberate yourself of toxicity toxic people toxic environment whatever's going on at your job people are lying to you yeah the lies are showing up here you see this uh you are being fed lies at your job yeah so there's great level of mismanagement going on wherever it is you work. Mismanagement of resources and obviously mismanagement of people. Mm -hmm. And what happens when there's mismanagement? Loss of money, right? Wow. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces has been dealing with. That Pisces is letting go of at this time. And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Especially emotionally. This one clearly wants to show up. Ooh. They want so badly to reach out to you. But they not. You see this? This person betrayed your trust in a major way. Yeah, they did. But you know this already. Whether they cheated on you with somebody else had a third party on the side um, yeah you were betrayed by this person mm -hmm. they turned you off emotionally with their actions with their irresponsible actions they turned you off yeah a lot of you are letting go of virgo this person has a lot of pride and it's hard for them to admit to their mistakes. So they know they messed up though. Yeah, they know they messed up and now karma is catching up with them for all the bad stuff they did to you or put you through, karma is catching up with them. You see this? Yeah. They are um, dealing with this karmically. 
Yeah, you see, they're not happy about losing you. They're not happy about not hearing from you. All those swords, wow. Yeah, they can't let you go completely though. They tried, you see, they're trying to figure out how to approach you without looking desperate, how to get your attention. Let's see the subconscious position. I don't like this. No, this person uh, was not honest with you. So the betrayal was definitely something very serious. Uh, whether it was third party or they cheated, whatever it was, it was of serious nature. Uh, yeah, this person is showing up as attractive, alluring, but mm, even though they know how to pull people towards them, how to attract people to them because they are charismatic, attractive, very good at what they do, they don't know how to keep people of quality in their life. Yeah, because they do things impulsively without thinking things through, without thinking of consequences. You see this? This person can be charming but also very impulsive, um, making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, universe please show us that. Eventually catch up with them. You see this? Uh, and karma, you see, showing up here. Universe please show us. Hmm. A lot of you are letting go of another Pisces. Aries popping up here. Leo, universe please show us. And Aquarius, universe please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that summit of Pisces that Pisces is letting go of? Ooh, you don't know how badly they want to reconcile with you, but to get that reconciliation with you, first of all, they need to prove themselves to you and gain your trust again and respect. And after what they put you through, it's going to be very hard for them to gain that respect and trust from you back, right? They can just demand it. They need to earn it, right? Trust has to be earned. Respect has to be earned. They're not happy with their life. No, they're not happy without you. They feel very empty, alone. They realize how much they love you. Yeah, there you go. King of Cups. This person is in love with you. This is a very powerful combination together, not just in the same spread, but on top of each other. King of Cups with Ten of Swords shows me this person is suffering emotionally uh, not having you in their life, feeling all this guilt about what they put you through and not be able to be with you even though they love you deeply. This is unspoken love, secret love, hidden love at this time, not expressed. They're very concerned because they view us very attractive, independent, strong will, not chasing them. You don't need them for anything. You're not chasing them. They view us available, so they worry that if they don't hurry up, you're going to be with somebody else because you are a person of high quality value. Yeah. And because they're in love with you, they really are in love with you, not just love you. They worry that it's going to hurt them deeply if you get together in a serious relationship with somebody else other than them. But, you know, they didn't think about that when they were uh, doing all this here. Uh, they didn't think of consequences. You see this? They were impulsive. Whatever it is they did that betrayed your trust so deeply, uh, they were impulsive. They didn't think of the consequences. Look, apologies are showing up here, but honestly, Pisces, apologies don't mean anything. Uh, this person cannot gain your trust with words and promises. They need to earn your trust through consistent actions that are believable over time. Yeah, this person is a very poor communicator and poor listener. They need to learn how to communicate effectively, how to listen, how to apologize, how to let go of their ego. Look how much respect they have for you. My favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles, whether you're male or female, with your third eye wide open, which shows me that um, they view you as very intuitive, wise, yeah, they know they can't just come back to you with pretty words, empty words. Look, this is them willing to humiliate themselves uh, and reach out to you, even though they're scared that you're going to reject them, shut them out and judge them. Yeah. Wow. So they must have done something pretty bad uh, for them to feel so much guilt 
yeah wow pisces let's see pisces you gotta do what's best for you ultimately remember that yeah Yeah, you see, they're willing to humiliate themselves, embarrass themselves, reach out to you, even though they're scared you're going to reject them. You don't know how badly, how badly they want to see you, communicate with you, have you back in their life. They've been waiting to see if you're going to reach out to them first. Oh, boy, this person has a lot of pride, big ego. They don't like to apologize. They don't like to admit to their mistakes. Uh, well, they're going to have to let that ego go. So this person is very alluring, attractive, but also showing up as ego-driven. Yeah, uh, impulsive. They love you a lot, but they need to show that love, not just feel it, right? Pisces, you're manifesting a new soulmate in your life. Someone you know from past lifetimes, the star with magician. Yeah, Ten of Cups, someone who's marriage material. Remember, Pisces, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with, whether you want to give this person a new beginning, if they prove themselves to you, that is, or a new person beginning or be alone for a while, that's totally up to you. You are in control of your life, in charge of your actions, yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate but also new soulmate popping up in your life that just showed up as the star and ten of cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the star, ten of cups, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job, opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.